This paper on how shell domains linked innovation and strategy was written with Leo Rudhart, who's an associate fellow of the school. He was head of innovation for Shell when I worked with him. He then became uh, president of the Society of Petroleum Engineers. And Willem Manners was in the learning part of Shell. And basically, what the, uh, the argument is very simple. You are a firm today, and you have a view of your future. And in your future, you want to perhaps say, we're going to be a firm that uh, captures a larger uh, percentage of new energy markets, whatever new energy markets is in terms of geography or technologies or whatever it is. Now, whenever you have a strategy, you have de facto made a scenario, which is assumptions on the future context in which that strategy is going to live. Right? So what happens if an alternative future, in this case a green future or a red future, comes to be? Well, then the original path is no longer a great path to go towards. And so alternative endpoints uh, come to be developed. If the red future happens, maybe we should go into new energy systems. And in the green future happens, maybe we should be the most sustainable company. And so we look at alternative possible end states. And there are three here. And then it's very confusing if you're the strategist. Which one do you aim for? Now, the advantage in the oil world is that this is 20, 30, 50 years ahead, and your strategy might be 5, 10, 15 years ahead. And so you have some time to think uh, between the long term in decades and the short term in years. But it's an empty quarter, and it's very fraught with fights. There's people that think about this in terms of HR policies. There are people that think of, of this in terms of risk. There's, of course, the strategists, there's the technologists, and the question is, how do you get them to talk to each other? So what Leo developed with my help in Shell was a series of domains which are like stepping stones. So if you want the north, the, the, the further top um, output in the end of your scenario period, you have to invest in the top yellow steps, and if you want to end up with access to customers rather than to reserves, then you have to become really good at these kinds of things. And what we found was that this actually focused attention. So this was the graph that finally got the paper published, where you can see that after domains were introduced in 2002, <coughs> the percentage of um, new ideas for R&D that was accepted dropped from 60% of those, almost 60%, 58% of those uh, submitted to only 30%, whereas the num number of ideas that graduated into businesses or spin-offs remained the same. So basically, this focuses attention. You kill things that are not going to work earlier, and you focus attention and resources on the ones that are going to make it uh, more. 